Bellator Fighting Championships along with Madison Square Garden, Everlast, and UB.net Rays Stack Own. Tonight here at Bellator 17 here at the historic Wang Theater. Now present three five-minute rounds, our second semi-final round contest in the Bellator Tournament Lightweight Division. And now introducing first fighting out of the red corner. He wears the blue, white, and yellow. At five foot 10, he weighed in at 155 and one half pounds. Now widely recognized for his stunning first round knockout in the quarterfinals at Bellator 14. Tonight with his cousin and MMA pioneer, Jeff Curran in his corner, the wrestler and jujitsu specialist enters the cage with 10 victories, three by knockout, three by way of submission against three defeats. Curran training out of Curran Marshall Arts Academy and fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, introducing Pat, Patty Mike Curran. And across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner and wearing his signature color, the colors of the Mexican flag, red, white, and green. At five foot nine, he weighed in exactly the same at 155 and one half pounds. After a convincing knee bar submission victory at Bellator 13, the freestyle fighter tonight returns to the Bellator cage with a professional record of 21 victories, 11 by knockout, five by way of eight defeats with one draw and one no contest. Representing El Garage and Phil Cardella's gym, ladies and gentlemen, from childhood life on the streets to scholarship athlete, a true symbol of perseverance, one of the most recognizable fighters in MMA fighting out of Austin, Texas, presenting Roger El Matador Huerta. And inside the cage, in charge of this contest, referee Dan Mergliata. Got it. All right, guys in the center. All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the locker room. We've been understanding the rules, correct? Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, come back out, and a nice clean fight. This for a place in Bellator's second season lightweight finals versus Toby Amata. Mike Ricci in the quarterfinal round was defeated by Pat Curran, a stunning first round knockout. Roger Huerta in the quarterfinals defeated Chad Hinton by third round submission. Round number one, Curran in the blue trunks, Huerta in the Trey Coloris. The Mexican flag, green, white, and red. Side kick there by Curran. Both guys exchanging kicks in the beginning. Both oh, kick there by Curran. Kick. That's a good thing to kind of throw in the beginning. Show your opponent, hey, I can hurt you from head to foot. Opponent's got to watch out for it from then on. Huerta has worked extensively on his Muay Thai. Went to Thailand in December and, and then again in February. Now one thing, Pat Curran just starting out against a guy with a lot of experience. A lot of times you want to get in the guy's head. If you're Roger Huerta, you want to start fast, remind him that he's in there with a better fighter. The longer Pat Curran stays in there, the more his confidence is going to grow, Sean. Filling out process here in round number one. Now this is the kind of pace that the first fight against Mike Ricci started in for Pat Curran. A lot of sizing up. Huerta partially kicking that, uh, catching that body kick, and Curran scrambling out, staying on his feet. No, Pat Curran does have a rustling background. He's going to be able to fight those takedowns. Jimmy, who do you think at this point in the fight the stand-up favors? I think the, the stand-up actually favors Pat Curran. He knows he has knockout power. Had a big knockout the last time he was in the Bellator cage. And also, and also, like I said, Huerta tends to make, Huerta tends to make, in my opinion, a lot of defensive mistakes. He doesn't. He tends to walk into a lot of punches. We saw that against Chad Hinton. Kern has thrown two push kicks. Now a side kick. You don't see a lot of push kicks anymore in MMA. It's more of a range finder. Yeah, it certainly is. Got to worry about the takedown every time you throw one of those. Good outside kick there by Huerta. You know, in the fights he's lost against guys like Kenny Florian and Gray Mandarin, he tends to get picked apart. This is the kind of pace where you know, he doesn't fight as effectively. He likes a high pace. The faster he goes, I think the better he does. Pat Kern doing everything right right now, keeping his hands high, looking for his shot. 
where it's just starting the backup current. Kern with the thigh kick that landed. A lot of bounce in the step of Roger Huerta. You hear Jeff Kern telling his, his cousin, pick it up. And just missing the pace for it. That's something definitely from Thailand. Every time you get kicked, oh, throw a kick back, and that's what Roger Puerta is doing. Slip really there by Huerta. Push kick again by Pat Curran. Body kick, caught. Huerta forcing his opponent back. Roger Huerta and I both train on the island of Phuket. We train on opposite sides of the island, but. You know, the way they train out there, they work this clinch over and over again. It's, it's, it's leg kicks and clinch knees is pretty much all you do. That and elbows. Levi Curran couldn't find the mark. Curran doing a good job with his wrestling, kind of stalling Roger Huerta out, not giving the opportunity for that takedown. You see Huerta with the double underhooks, forcing Curran back. This round so far, Sean, really anybody so far, very close. Curran called this opportunity to fight Roger Huerta unreal. He seemed a lot more calm, though, yesterday than he did in the fighter meeting on Tuesday. I think he kind of got over the nerves and the, wow, I can't believe I'm here sort of aspect of this. Oh, that's going to be huge. He has to believe he can win. He has to believe he's one of the best. You know, beginner's luck, beginner's enthusiasm will only get you so far. You have to believe you're number one in this tournament in order to be successful. Where to just four years older at age 26, but vastly, vastly more experienced than MMA. Good right hand by Pat Curran. Push kick to the face there by Curran. That's audacious. It is. Big insult in Thailand to push kick somebody to the face, but I don't think he knows that. He's an American. Huerta, nice one-two with the right hand, then with the left kick. Closing seconds of our opening round. This Bellator second lightweight semifinal from the Wang Theater in Boston. Pat Curran versus Roger Huerta. Promotional partnership with Madison Square Garden. We are at the iconic Wang Theater in Boston this evening. Heading into round number two of Bellator's second lightweight semifinal, Pat Kern versus Roger Huerta. Well, in between rounds, Jeff Kern telling him, you know, you won that round, stay on him, you're doing what you need to do, but he advised him at the end, he's gonna come harder in this round, and I agree. I agree with both those statements. I thought he won the first round, I think Roger's gonna come out stronger in the second. Kern in the blue trunks, Huerta in the green, white, and red. Dan Bergliotta, one of the best referees in all of MMA, is the third man in the cage. Now, Roger's been behind in fights before. Famously against Clay Guida, came back in the third round and won that fight, so I think he's down 1-0. It was a close first round, I think he's down 1-0, but he's been behind before, that is nothing new. He fights like a warrior. Huerta said that he was actually pleased he went into the third round in his quarterfinal round victory versus Chad Hinton. Said I was getting the rust off. And remember, that was his first victory after two consecutive losses as he exited UFC. Yeah, he certainly liked that. The fact that he was able to get that rust out with a three round uh, fight. But Pat Curran, I think, gained a lot of confidence getting through that first round as well as he did. Over here, right left hook. Over here, right left hook. If you put on the outside. Moving back, uh, you start stepping in, you step in and throw that thing. Your head, your head. Oh, that's, a, you know, that's a bad sign when a guy throws a kick and you catch yourself reaching for it. That means a head kick is coming usually. You have to be very careful reaching for Pat Kern's kicks because Pat Kern has shown that he can kick to the head. Huerta trying to kick out now the front leg with the left, then with the right. Again with the right. That was straight on the kneecap. Again, now, both working these, on that knee. Both these guys have red legs right now. They're training a lot of leg kicks. So much more bounce in the step of Roger Huerta than of Pat Curran. Yeah, his footwork does seem a little bit better, especially in this second round. Now it's you know it's kind of like a roll reversal. He's picking Pat Curran apart a little bit from the outside. Push kick again into the chest by Curran. Man, so fast with that push kick. 
outside kick, again, targeting the knee of the front leg. You see the strategy here in round number two. Huerta is going after that front leg of Curran. Yeah, so it looks like footwork and leg kicks are the strategy in the second round. So far, it's working. But he has to beware that right hand of Pat Curran. We throw a lot of kicks, a lot of times you're vulnerable to that straight punch. Again, Huerta trying to chop at that knee of Curran, finding a lot of success. If you're alongside Jeff Curran in the corner of Pat Curran, what are you telling your man? He's got to time his right hand. Every time Roger Huerta throws that leg kick, he's vulnerable to the right hand, especially from this southpaw stance. I'd say time it, throw that right hand. Try and land it like you did against Ricci. Right hand on the inside by Curran. More clubbing didn't quite turn over the wrist. Not like the punch he threw in the quarterfinal round to knock out Mike Ricci. Huerta starting to walk down Pat Curran now. Curran initiating that clinch, then getting back out. Huerta just turning up the heat a little bit in the second round. Remember, Chad Hinton very competitive in the first round of their fight. Roger Huerta just turned up the heat. Oh, good right hand by Pat Curran. Side of the head on that punch by Curran. Going Curran. for the takedown, Roger Huerta going for what we call a switch in wrestling. Huerta back to his feet. Oh, walking down Curran. Man, it seems like every time you hit Roger Huerta, he just comes right in. Pat Curran needs to time that and unload that right hand when he does. Hands up and head, Hands up and head, Put some pressure. trying to get off with the left hand, getting off with the right there on the clinch. This is a very tactical stand-up fight, Jimmy. Tactical, very back and forth. Still give Roger Huerta so far the slight edge in this round, but Packer could take it with a flurry at the end here. That's how rounds get stolen, Sean. Pat Curran is not intimidated by a fighter, but that by his own admission, he looks up to Roger Huerta. He's certainly not being overwhelmed by Huerta. Huerta, though, is really targeted, wisely in my opinion, that front leg of Curran is going after the knee with kick after kick after kick. And that's really going to show in the third round. That's when those kicks start really wearing you down and impairing your movement. Low shot there. Curran didn't even flinch. Unintentional by Huerta. That was legal. That was on the thigh. Lee by Curran to answer. Curran going for the guillotine. Huerta shucking right out of that. Closing seconds of round number two. We are headed to a third and final round. Pat Curran versus Roger Huerta. You are watching Bellator. Into the corner of Pat Curran. Seconds out. Round number three upcoming. Third and final round. Bellator's second lightweight semifinal. One of these two men, Pat Curran or Roger Huerta, will join Toby Amata in Bellator's second season lightweight tournament final. The road ends with a title shot versus Bellator's 155 pound world champion, Eddie Alvarez. Round number three. Jimmy, how do you have this on your unofficial card? Man, I have it one round apiece. Roger Huerta took that last round, the second round. Pat Curran, I think, won the first. Whoever makes the statement in this third round, I think is going home with the victory, Sean. Curran in the blue trunks, Huerta in the Drake Dolores, the green, white, and red trunks. Paying homage to his Mexican heritage, his birth father from Mexico. Man, you can feel those leg kicks from where we are, Sean. They are sharp. Swing and a miss with the left by Huerta. Huerta, this is his sixth consecutive fight that he has gone into the third round. Eighth time for Huerta in his last 10 MMA fights. But he has a lot of finishes in those third rounds. It's not like he always goes to the decision. You know, he tends to pace himself and really turn it on in the third round. Let's see, he's going to need to do that here, Sean. This is the 14th pro MMA fight for Pat Curran and the sixth time that he has gone into the third round. Next week, be sure to join us. Bellator 18, we will be in Monroe, Louisiana. For tickets, Ticketmaster.com, Bellator.com. For television coverage, check your local listings. We will have our two featherweight semifinal round matchups. 
as well as the Super Fight Bellator's 185-pound champion, Hector Lombard, versus Paolo Filio. Virtually all stand up in this fight. No groundwork really from anyone. The one takedown attempt by Pat Curran negated successfully. These guys have spent almost the whole fight on their feet. One, two by Curran, couldn't get off with either punch. Now one thing that's important to remember, Sean, both guys are trading. A lot of the times it's, it's you judge the guy who's going forward, who's being aggressive. If both guys land the same number of strikes, who's moving forward, who's trying to do damage. And so far in that round, this round, it's Roger Huerta. I've been, really been impressed by the defense of Roger Huerta. So have I. Pat Curran it needs to turn it up in this third round. Neither guy's taken a lot of damage in this third round, but Roger Huerta's dictated the pace. And I think Pat Curran needs to turn it up and start going on his own pace. Imposing his will, Sean. Jimmy, from the perf from the perspective of a pro MMA fighter as you are, do you think that Huerta feels that he's winning this fight, or do you think he's concerned right now? No, it depends on how honest his corner is. You know, if I'm his corner, I go, hey, it's one to one. You got to make a statement in this third round. But that's how he tends to fight anyway. I don't think he needs anyone to tell him whether he's winning or not. He tends to turn it up in the third round. Clinch initiated by Curran. Huerta punching his way out. Nice combination. Left hand by Huerta just missing the mark. Good body shots by Curran coming in. Good right hand on the inside by Huerta. Man, Pat, Pat Curran's corner imploring him to go forward and punch. Way six by Huerta. Good takedown. Huerta has one hook in. Letting go with the punches. Well done by Curran. Man, beautiful job sitting out to the switch. Able to turn his hips around. Back to his feet, then straight into the north-south. That was slick. Man, that's beautiful wrestling. Knee by Curran. And missing with the left hand. One minute left. I don't think this fight is out of anyone's hands, Sean. Into the 15th and final minute of Bellator's second lightweight semifinal. Pat Curran versus Roger Huerta. Takedown by Curran. Huerta turning his back all the way back to his feet. Neither guy seems to be able to hold the other one down. Huerta, you can see, trying to get off with the left hand. Curran missing with the right. Man, as a cornerman, this fight it would be hard to watch because you know if your guy turns it up, he can win. You're just screaming at your guy, give it everything you got. Huerta throwing three punches, none landing. Left by Curran, then missing with the right. But it's still all the time, it's Roger Huerta moving forward. As far as, far as the judging goes, that is extremely important. Seconds of this fight. This is going to go to the judges' scorecards. Wow, this is a tough one to score. I give Roger Ware to the slight edge in that third round, but judges could go either way with this one, Sean. When we return, suspense will be ended on Bellator Fighting Championships. A look at Roger Huerta. This is a very tough moment as he embraces the great Jeff Curran. Two real stars in this sport. Jeff Curran has to be proud of his first cousin, Pat, at 22 years old, going the distance versus Roger Huerta. It possibly could be victorious. This is now up to the three judges scoring cage side here for the state of Massachusetts. One of these two fighters, Pat Curran and Roger Huerta, will go through to Bellator's final in the lightweight tournament and face Toby Amata, the winner of that bout, will earn a title shot versus Bellator's 155-pound champion, Eddie Alvarez. Nervous moments, so much at stake. The three judges' scorecards still being tallied, scoring on a 10-point must system. Smiles from Roger Huerta. Bit more concern on the face of Pat Curran. 
Curran now responding to some cheers in the audience here at the Wang Theater. Michael C. Williams is set to name the victor of this fight in Bellator's second lightweight semifinal. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, having gone the distance, will go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges, David Ginsburg, Mark Aliberti, and Michael Walls, all scored about exactly the same at 29 to 28. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And your second finalist in the Bellator tournament, lightweight division, Pat, Patty Ma. One of the biggest upsets of the year, perhaps of the last five years in mixed martial arts, perhaps in the history of mixed martial arts. Certainly the biggest upset in the history of Bellator fighting championships. Pat Curran has stunned the crowd here, stunned our worldwide television audience, and defeated Roger Huerta. A unanimous decision, 29-28 on all three Massachusetts judges' scorecards, meaning he won two of the three rounds. I'm here with your winner, Pat Curran. Unbelievable upset, man. How you feeling? I feel great. A little tired, but... <laughs> hey, I feel great, man. It was an honor to fight Roger. How did it feel going into that third round at bat one round to one? What was your corner telling you? What were you thinking? I just keep my hands clean, look for the, the straight right. And, uh, you know, just keep putting the pace on him. He was putting a lot of pressure on me, but, you know, I was trying to counter and land my shot, so. You're in the finals now, taking on Toby Imada. You saw his submission earlier. What are your thoughts on a fight against him? Yeah, I can't wait. I want to get back to the gym as soon as possible and, you know, start working on my ground. Well, we look forward to seeing you again. Big hand for Pat Curran, ladies and gentlemen. Pat Curran described the opportunity to face one of his heroes in the sport, Roger Huerta, is unreal. I wonder how he would describe this victory over Roger Huerta.